Hey everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to this week's What's Happening in the Credit Card World. Where I give you updates and news that you'd otherwise might miss due to various reasons. The last thing I want as a credit card YouTuber is for my audience to miss out on potential rewards and deals that would have otherwise gave them even more cash back when using their own credit cards. And while all of this information can be found on websites like doctorofcredit.com or onemileatatime.com, some people just don't have the time to read it all. So consider it as an audiobook or a visual book for weekly updates about the credit card world that just might pique your interest. Granted, some of these deals might expire by the time you watch these videos, so please make sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest updates. So with the interest being done, let's get into this week's what's happening in the credit card world. So for those of you out there that have the Chase Freedom Flex or the OG Chase Freedom cards, you can enjoy 5% cash back on PayPal purchases and Walmart. Huh, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw this news break out a couple days ago, I wasn't really impressed. Discover, who releases their yearly quarterly categories every single year, not hiding it like Chase until the end of the each quarter, will have 5% back on Amazon.com and digital wallets for the same quarter. Although now that I look at it, it seems like Chase is trying to capture the online retail market with the addition of PayPal, and Discover is capturing the physical store market with the digital wallets. Nevertheless, the ones that benefit the most from this reveal are the ones that have both of these credit cards. For the City Dividend credit card that has now been discontinued, it's 5% cash back on restaurants and travel. Last week, I reported on two co-branded credit cards from Barclays that had pretty competitive sign-up bonuses. Those cards were the JetBlue Plus and the Advantage Aviator World Elite Business Card. Well, following the trend of last week, Barclays has just released some new sign-up bonuses for a group of co branded credit cards this week. If you didn't already know, over at the credit card subreddit group on reddit.com, a couple of weeks ago, a user going by the name of ComfortableFig9642 released a website called turnersparadise.com, where you can compare the current sign-up bonuses for a variety of credit cards to its historical highs. And no, this isn't a sponsorship of any kind. I don't benefit at all from shouting them out. I just frequent the subreddit group myself a lot and just found this tool to be very useful and I just wanted to share it with all of you guys. So like I reported last week, the JetBlue Plus currently has a limited time offer of 80,000 bonus points after spending $1,000 on purchases and paying the annual fee in full within the first three months of account opening. It has an annual fee of $99 and earns you 6x points on JetBlue purchases and in two excellent restaurants and grocery stores. Other benefits include 5,000 bonus points each anniversary year and $100 statement credit when purchasing a JetBlue vacation package of $100 or more with your JetBlue Plus card. According to churnersparadise.com, the historical max was a 100,000 bonus offer, but that came with a $10,000 spend. So if you're interested in getting a JetBlue exclusive credit card right now, right now is definitely the time. Next, the Barclays Business Aviator card returned with a 70,000 miles offer, and that offer still exists right now. Those that are interested can earn up to 70,000 Advantage bonus miles, which is split as 60,000 bonus miles after spending $2,000 or more within the first three months of account opening, and then another 10,000 miles making a purchase on an employee card. This business card gives first free check bag, as well as a companion certificate that is valued at $99 each year, once you hit the 30,000 spending threshold and have an annual fee of $95. If you're a fan of Hawaiian Airlines, both the personal and business Hawaiian Airlines World Elite MasterCards have pretty competitive bonuses as well. For the business card, it's an 80,000 signup bonus offer plus a $99 statement credit for the first year after spending $2,000 or more within the first 90 days of a card membership. This card comes with a one-time 50% off companion discount for round-trip coat travel between Hawaii and North America on Hawaiian Airlines, and the possibility to earn 40,000 anniversary bonus miles every single year. For the personal card, it's a 70,000 sign-up bonus offer after spending $2,000 on purchases within the first 90 days of account opening. This card also comes with a one-time 50% off companion discount for round-trip travel between Hawaii and North America on Hawaiian Airlines. Lines. It also comes with a $100 companion discount annually for round trips between Hawaii and North America on Hawaiian Airlines after each account anniversary and first check bag is free 
and even discounted award flights. So if you're interested in getting some competitive signup bonuses right now, make sure to go on churnersparadise.com and check them out. And finally, just a reminder that American Express is still offering 12 different transfer bonuses for 12 different transfer partners, running from 15% all the way up to 30% bonus points. Meaning for every 1,000 membership award points you transfer out, you'd get anywhere between 1,150 points to 1,300 points in their respective point currencies. The transfer partners with bonuses are Aer Lingus, Aeromexico, Aeroplane, Air France, Avianca, British Airways, Hawaiian, Qantas, and Virgin for airlines, and Choice, Hilton, and Marriott for hotel. Now, I'm not going to list out the exact percentages for the sake of this video, but feel free to pause this video to see the exact numbers. Some of these redemptions are proven to be pretty valuable, such as transferring out your points to British Airways, where you can secure a first class or business class one-way ticket for just 40,000 membership reward points. All right, who's ready for the lightning round? Ready, let's go. There's a new sign-in bonus for the American Express Blue Business Plus card. It's a 60,000 bonus offer, which is split as 50,000 points after spending $15,000 within the first 12 months of account opening, and then 10,000 extra bonus points when you add an employee card and spend $1,000 within the first 12 months of account opening on that. There's also a new sign-up bonus for the American Express Platinum card. It's a 150,000 point sign-up offer after spending $6,000 within the first six months of account opening. A pretty good offer, but compared to the Resi.com offer, the Resi.com offer is still leagues better. And finally, the American Express Business Platinum has a new sign-up offer of 170,000 membership reward points, plus 10,000 extra for an employee card after calling American Express and calling. So like always, if you're interested in this deal, make sure to call up American Express and just ask. In other Amex news, there's some offers out there that you kind of want to keep an eye out for. First, it's a $100 statement credit after spending $500 at preferred hotels and resorts in the US, UK, Mexico, and Italy between September 6, 2022 to December 15, 2022. Next is an offer of $10 back after spending $50 on Hotels.com gift cards. And finally, it's a $100 statement credit after spending $500 on Alaska Airlines before November 14th, 2022. And finally, Venmo has sent out more targeted offers for double cash back for six months when you sign up for the Venmo credit card. A full 6% cash back for six months on categories such as grocery stores, dining, travel, or bills and utilities. All right, those are all the relevant deals that I've seen for the week of September 12, 2022. If I somehow helped you save money this week, feel free to leave a like and comment down in the comment section down below. Also, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to receive up-to-date news about the credit card world and also to help me get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm only about 100 away now. It's free and it definitely make my year. These videos in the meantime will always come out on the weekend on Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern time and that's 9 a.m. for those of you on the West Coast. Thank you for watching as always. Stay safe out there, everyone. Peace.